everyone, Paul from High Tech Legion, and we'll be taking an overview of ClickBios 4 by MSI, and this is going to roughly be for the entire Z97 gaming line. Of course, we have the Z97 gaming up at this time. So let's go ahead and take a look at the UI. Of course, it says the name of the board. Underneath that, we have our OC Genie button, and we have an XMP button now. So it's right up front. You want to turn on XMP, just click the button. Temperatures are to the right of that. When we come over towards the left, of course, we see the time and the date and the version of the BIOS. Then, of course, we have our processor, our, C our frequencies for our DRAM and our CPU, and what type of memory we have. This does have an F12 button to take a snapshot and put it to a put it to a USB. And below that, yes, this is movable. You can rearrange your boot order just by moving these icons. Let's go down to the left of the board. We have our settings, our OC settings, the M flash to flash your BIOS. To the right of that is our OC profile, our hardware monitor, and then board explorer. Of course. We have the dragon in the center of the board, but when we start clicking on what we want to click on, that will now populate. So we're gonna go ahead and click on settings first, and we'll see that we have system status. Of course, this is your system status. This is gonna tell you everything that is hooked up, plugged in, you name it, it's gonna be there. And of course, you can set your date and time. We can go down to the DMI information, and then look at the DMI via that click. So we'll go ahead and click back. We'll go to the advanced button. And of course we have our PCI subsystems and that goes all the way down to wake up event setup. Under PCI subsystems, of course, this is going to be for your video card, etc. ACPI settings is for your power LED. It does it blink? What do you want it to do? You can even shut it off. Integrated peripherals. This is going to show you the peripherals that are on the board. Your onboard LAN, your SATAs, your HD controller for your audio, and of course your H HPET configurations. Going down to integrated graphics, basically what you're going to see is you're going to initiate the initial uh, or the initiate graphic adapter. I have it set to PEG at this time. Integrated graphics share memory is set to 64 and I have the multi monitor set up to disabled. Intel Rapid Start technology is available if you want to use it. USB configuration, of course, this is going to tell you what USB controllers you have. USB power control, you can turn them on, turn them off. Of course, it does have, since I'm using uh, Windows 8.1, XHCI is available. Super I.O. configuration, that's your serial or COM port. Intel Smart Connect configuration, enabled or disabled. Power management setup. When we get into that, of course, this is your power off, how it turns back on. Do you want full, full LED control of your board? Windows 8. Windows 8.1 configuration. Are you going to use MSI Fastboot or are you going to use the Intel Fastboot? MSI does have a Fastboot program that you could use. Under security, this is where you can set off, set your ch chassis intrusion uh, configuration and give yourself a password to get into the BIOS. And of course, save and exit, and that's where you're going to find all of your save and exit uh, commands, and you will also find your boots. This is your boot override, UEFI, SATA, and the SATA 3. So that's it for the settings. Let's go to the OC clock settings, and this is where you would manually overclock your CPU. I'm not going to get into everything. We're just going to go down the list, and I'm going to tell you what it has. You can set it to simple or advanced mode. You can set your CPU ratio. Basically, you click on it, and you just type in a number. Enhanced Turbo, same again, Auto, Disabled, or Enable. You have an OC Genie Function Control. Are you going to do it by the onboard button? Are you going to do it in, in, the, in the BIOS? Are you going to do it by clicking the OC Genie up here? Your Ring Ratio, CPU Base Clock. Under DRAM Frequency, we have, I have that set to Auto right now, but I do have my XMP Profile on, and that is enabled. Memory Try It. That is disabled. Advanced DRAM configuration. 
Once I go ahead and turn my DRAM timing mode on to manual, it will then then light, the, uh, light that up and I will be able to set my DRAM timings. As we go farther down, we have all our voltage settings. And let me go ahead and grab that here so you can see it. Digital power. Once we click on that, this is where you can change all your phase controls, your V-droop, your over voltage protection, your switching frequency, and your VRM temperature protection. VCCIN voltage, this is all your voltages that you would manually need to change when you are overclocking. And then finally on the bottom, we have CPU specifications, which just basically tells you what the specifications of your CPU are. The it also tells you what it has in the technologies, MMX, SSE, etc. So we'll go back again to uh, Memory Z. Memory Z is basically showing you the SP, SPD of your memory. And then if you have XMP, it'll give you the support information, it'll give you your timings. And then CPU features. Basically, this is where you're going to go ahead and set your hyper-threading, you're going to set your C-states, you're going to set your C-state limits, turn on and off turbo boost, turn on your DMI, turn it off, etc. And you could also, also set your current limits. So that's it for the OC settings. Let's go ahead and look at M-Flash. Basically, what do you want to do? The BIOS boot function, what does the BIOS boot function does? It enables or disables the system to boot from a USB that, ha that, ha that, has a, uh, that has the program on it to boot from a USB. Select one file to boot, save BIOS to storage, or select one file to up update BIOS and ME. Basically, anytime you need to update your BIOS, you want to go through M flash through here, this is what you're going to do. And my dog just, uh, sorry about the movement, my dog just laid on the uh, tripod here. OC profile. Technically, if you overclock your system and you want to save a specific program, uh, not a specific, but that's those specific settings, you can go ahead and use one of these OC profiles. Go ahead and click on it. It will click save. It'll bring you through the little uh, UI to go ahead and save it. You could save it to USB. You could save it to you could save it to the ROM, or you could load it from a USB. Hardware monitoring. This is where you have your fan controls for your BIOS. Basically, right now I only have one, one fan in here. I'm using an AIO, so I have a CPU fan, and I do have it on a test bench, so I do not have a chassis fan connected. But basically, by moving, moving these, uh, these points up and down, you could manually set how you want your fan to how you want your fan to ramp up and settle down. Below that we have our voltage. We have our voltage. It will show you your rails. It will show you your, your voltage on your CPU core, DRAM, internal GPU, etc. So we're going to go ahead and uh, click X and get out of that. And now this is one of my favorite features about this BIOS. It's the Board Explorer. As you can see, things are red and when you highlight them it shows you what they are now of course this is the rear this is the rear IO I do have uh, certain things plugged into there so if you, you notice I could scroll over them and they'll say that they're empty anything that I do have populated it will say so now as you can see I do have this connected up to the LAN so it says killer E2200 gigabit Ethernet disconnected. Gee, I do have it disconnected? No, I don't. But in any case, this is this is my core processor here. This shows me where my DRAM is. This shows me what I have inside my PCI port. Of course, I have an NVIDIA Corporation VDA, VGA compatible controller running at 16x at 2.5 G <laughs> GT S a second. Uh, don't mind me having a brain fart here. So now we go to the chipset, and then let's go down to the bottom, and it'll show you what is what is populated there. I have uh, my ASUS uh, Blu-ray, 
Patriot Pyro, and then of course an ADATA SX900. Do you have my ATX populated? And right here is a V-point v connector. The V-point connector, if you want to manually check your, uh, your voltage points, you could go ahead and do that with, uh, with a probe. And then, of course, it'll tell you what everything else is. This is a good thing. I like to look at this sometimes because I forget where I have things plugged in, and it's a very nice feature to go ahead and look through. Well, everyone, that has been a very quick overview. I'm very sorry that I didn't get into any overclocking features. I know a lot of you have been complaining that we've been doing these marathon uh, BIOS videos, but if someone wants us to do, do something with the overclocking settings, it, if you go ahead and uh, post it on the YouTube channel, we'll go ahead and give it a try and, and maybe just focus on the OC settings or maybe on something specific that you might want to see and maybe that we might have missed. Well, thanks everyone. Have a great day. We'll see you the next time. Stay thirsty, my friends. Bye-bye.